Hey, hello and welcome to K Reef. Today we're gonna talk about the 170 gallon reef tank that I have in my living room and about how far I am or or how happy I am with the Fauna Marine Balling Light set that I got from them some weeks or months ago. So stay tuned. <music> So for the new people that haven't seen this 170 gallon reef tank before, I can provide you a link from how it started. It's uh, yeah, one and a half year ago. Uh, you can go and check there some videos in the playlists if you like. So the reef tank, yeah. Um, what can I tell, tell about it? Now when I started with the Fauna Marine Balling Light system, um, I was curious what it, how, how it will affect my tank and how it would affect my corals and I must say I am very happy with it. So for the people that don't know I got a balling light set to test from Fauna Marie and uh, I did an unboxing about it so here's a link and uh, yeah it's a, a full set you, you get the containers, everything, and it's easy to mix. I also made a video about how to mix the balling light set, so I also provide that link. And how did it affect my tank? Well, for me, in a very positive way, uh, it's very easy to dose. You only dose what you need, and you know, the tank is doing good except for the green that I still have on the bottom and uh, a little bit on the rocks um, I think it's because of my RO unit needs new filters because yeah my parameters always stay the same didn't change excuse me and I, I don't know because uh, yeah, phosphates, nitrates are, are really low actually. So I am measure uh, more TDS now in the water so I need to change those filters and do some water changes and then I hope it will make a difference. But about the Belling Light set, you know I always had problems with keeping Montipora Digitata or yeah they stayed alive but I never never was able to keep the colors. Now with the balling light set from Fauna Marine, they get grow points everywhere. They have a nice color, a nice coloration, and uh, the green one is is growing like crazy. It's really growing like crazy. I also have a new frag of uh, forest fire, Digitata forest fire. So yeah, I'm very happy with that. Um, the clove polyps aren't doing so well, I don't know why, they are dying off. But the Montipora plate is doing great, keeps growing and growing and growing. All the LPS is doing great, the, the, the buttons are doing great, the new elegance coral I have is doing great, so I'm very happy with it. So for the people who haven't watched the video of my store tour that I did with some other aquarists, I can provide you a link with that. So while uh, during that store tour, the last store we did, I bought a new fish, a new ras. It's uh, the how it's called, uh, two spotted candy hogfish. Yeah, that's the name. Two spotted candy hogfish. Um, yeah, the fish is doing good. It's doing great. It eats well. 
but there is a but he only comes out every two or three days only in the evening to get some food and then we don't see him again for two days uh, but yeah I like the fish and um, probably when it's longer in the tank uh, he will yeah, change his behavior I hope that he will come out uh, much more and uh, swim around so we can enjoy him more than one evening every two or three days so yeah I keep um, an eye on the algae on my uh, sand bed and I hope it will make a difference when I changed my filters from my RO, RO unit. Um, for the rest I'm actually very happy with the tank. So yeah, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Don't forget to subscribe and like and leave a comment if you want, if you ask some questions. Bye bye!